We had minimal to no investment when we started. We were kids. We didn't know what we were doing. We were winging it. Sales meant celebration, right? We were so wrong. Hey there, I'm Jim Bacaro, co-founder and CEO of Linea Linea. You know, our journey wasn't just about catchy phrases on t-shirts. It was a roller coaster of hilarious financial missteps. But guess what? Those epic fails were also the foundational parts of who we are as a company today. In this episode of RCBC Boss Sessions, I'll be sharing with you a bunch of bloopers which became incredible lessons. Now, let me share some of our epic financial blunders that became priceless lessons. The cash flow confusion. To start off, we had minimal to no investment when we started. We were kids. We didn't know what we were doing. We were winging it. Sales meant celebration, right? We were so wrong. We pulled out cash without thinking twice. And guess what? When it was time to pay our suppliers, our wallets were empty. A classic startup misstep. Let me elaborate on that cash flow confusion. It's like this. We were making sales and celebrating each one like we'd won the lottery with bad advice from people with different intentions. Basically, they weren't in it for the long haul for Linea Linea. Some people advised us to be reckless without proper forecasting and we didn't quite grasp the difference between cash flow and a profit and loss statement. To us, money in the bank meant success or if the income statement said we're profitable, we can withdraw the money, have fun, spend on this, spend on that. Big mistake. So imagine us partying after every sale, not realizing that this cash technically was not usable. We were undercapitalized from the start, but the sales were rolling in, masking the real picture. It was like being on a financial roller coaster without knowing the tracks. Then came the month where our sales dipped. It happens, right? But this time, it coincided with all our suppliers lining up for payments. It was like a perfectly timed financial storm. Our pockets, once full, were now echoing to the sound of emptiness. Let me paint this picture. Our accountants and financial advisors sitting us down, showing us the books, and there it was. The stark reality. Our so-called profits were not profits. We've been eating into our capital, thinking it was our reward. It was a facepalm moment. Now the undercapitalized adventures. Naalala ko yung time na we decided to open more branches. Exciting, di ba? Sabi namin, let's expand! The demand was there. We wanted to serve that demand. But here's the catch. We jumped into it without really understanding our cash position or the actual capital required for each new store. Each branch needed capital for the lease, security deposit, Taxes, permits, staff, training, lahat yan. Because we were so new to the business, there were things that we did not account for. So, when things started accelerating, dun namin realize, oh, we don't have enough money. So what did we do? Borrowed money, loans. Principal was small, but the interest killed us. So, from a starting point of low cash on hand, we compounded our struggles even more with bad loans. It all came to the climax when our contractor, another thing that, you know, we were not well versed on dealing with contractors, construction, bailed on us. He stopped, he left, he ghosted us, leading to delays in the store's opening. So no sales, but the charges started coming. Bigla kaming naipit. Yung interest sa loans were going up. The cash flow, not enough. There were times we were, we were scrambling. We were trying to find ways to cover our costs while keeping the business running. 
Lesson learned the hard way, di ba? Don't just dive into expansion without a solid plan and enough capital. Kung hindi mo ayaw, wag muna. Learn to swim first. Yes, it's exciting. Gigil ka. But sometimes, patience is a virtue. And it would have helped us a lot if we waited. But now, with tools like RCBC Boz app, mas madali na sana for us to see the financial picture clearly. We could have planned better, we could have avoided those high interest loans and scaled at a more sustainable pace. We would have had a good reality check. Now, imagine a world where every palpak moment is avoided with a tap. If only we had this before! RCBC has actually just recently come up with their latest innovation, the RCBC Boz app. The financial sidekick we wish we had during those face palm days. The Boz app is like a friend who's got your back, ensuring you don't slip on the same financial banana peel twice. It's serious help for our kalokohang pera moments, turning what used to be financial jokes into smart business moves. Kung meron lang sana kami nito noon. All right, let's dig deeper into this cool reports feature that could have saved us from epic financial fails. So under reports, you get this superpower to effortlessly track your cash balance, basically keeping tabs on the real deal in your wallet. Now imagine how handy this would have been in our early days, especially when we were making those first ever purchases for the company. Picture this, our not so cozy 30 square meter office space and our first official company purchase was an industrial electric fan. So not just lacking in financial know-how, but also of our knowledge of electric fans. What we didn't realize that this fan was like a rock concert on steroids. Sobrang ingay. Meetings turned into a game of charades because with that fan roaring, we couldn't hear a thing. Classic case of impulse buying. This big purchase also led us to scrimping on the actual products, the t-shirts. So we were stuck with a fan that wasn't fit for that tiny office and we couldn't put money in the actual product. Having the reports feature back then would have been a game changer. We would have been able to check our cash balance before jumping into decisions that unintentionally turned our meetings into a comedy show. And that's just one of our many epic flops. Think of this reports feature as a financial GPS, guiding us through the twists and turns. It would have been our go-to during those early days when every purchase felt like a leap of faith. With reports, we could have sailed through those waters smoother than ever, dodging financial blunders like our infamous fan purchase. Whether it's checking weekly, monthly, or yearly summaries, or filtering transactions, the reports feature would have been our trusty sidekick in those decision-making moments. Imagine that. In the end, our journey from nadapa to natuto and eventually to kumita is a testament to learning from mistakes and laughing along the way. If we had the RCBC Boz app in our arsenal, the learning curve would have been shorter. We probably would have made the same mistakes but it wouldn't have affected us so badly. Entrepreneurship is fun. Having friends who can laugh and cry with you along the way makes it even better. What's best though is a friend who can laugh, cry, and actually help you with stuff you're not so knowledgeable on. An app like RCBC Boz is that friend. So, to all aspiring entrepreneurs out there, embrace your mishaps, learn from them, and maybe get a little help from a handy app like The Boss. Salamat for joining me today, and remember, in the world of business, the best lessons often come with a good laugh. Level up your boss moves. Download the new RCBC Boss app.